So I'm going to stop while I'm in Maryland. I'm stopping at Weaver's Antiques and Primitives. So, maybe I hit the basement first, work my way up. A lot of newer stuff, but. You find some good stuff. Oops. Bunny rug. Oh, look. Ornaments. Those are three, three little ones. I'll hold off. I know I'm going to find more. I can feel it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this kitty cat. I've seen them also sugared. $75 from Yikes. Let me put it back. I put it back. That's a little too steep for my wallet. A vintage monkey pod carved tiki wood mother pearl. 21 pieces for $50. That's cool. But you'd have to have the space to, to really put it out. are drawn to the blendo so each glass is six dollars and there's a picture oh my, look at this little lamb planter he's a cutie $18.99 20 percent off though this place just kind of keeps going on and on and on. Back there as well, some cute assemblage pieces. Five dollars. Look at that one in the little jello mold. Five. Adorable. Santa. All kinds of bees. Snowmen. right spring spell it out Ooh, I see bunnies and chicks two dollars again I think those are from probably Hobby Lobby if I had to guess because I have some very similar to it a pair of boy girl bunnies 550 they do have some kind of back stamp on them Let's see what this one says Hmm. Don't see anything. This is cute, the little chick. He's heavy. Sadie. Newspaper chick. Oh, little glitter. Six fifty. Oh, Sadie might be the booth owner. Yeah, because they all say Sadie. Cute though, it's just all cute lined up. Some pepper shakers. I'm really standing out to me. I saw these elsewhere. Four fifty. Octopus. Keystone candle thirty two. It'd take me days, if not months, to get through one of those. And I can burn through some candles. Joseph Original. This one I just saw at um, Merchant Village for 12. It was 9 98 and it's July. A little Pring Bell, $14.98. Show you these little bunnies back here. He's goofy looking. Okay, where's the price tag? Let's look at his mate. Eight dollars a set. This just crud. 
but I'm pretty sure they're hobbyist pieces, but they are goofy looking, aren't they? Just holding a baby bunny like that. Let's look at his ear real quick. Yeah, it's chipped. Okay. Oh, there's some tiny camels. You never see camels. Four dollars for three of them. Right there in China. Different. I mean, I guess you see camels. They're just always with a nativity scene. No, not one for bisque, but how adorable. Three dollars. Oh, so cute, cute. Look at all these trees. Wow. All kinds, all colors. Thirty-four. Thirty-eight. One has bows for forty-eight. Oh, I love that bunny on the nest. Fifteen for him. Got a little chick planter. This buckwood egg. This one is six ninety-nine. He's cute though. Some crazy chocolate egg here. Is $7.99. That's cool. Opens up for a trinket dish. I just gotta show you this booth because it's so stinking cute. Little trees and the carrots and the flowers. 25% off. 36. That's gorgeous. Opalescence candy dish in the green, which I don't think I do. I see green often. I'm gonna say no. I see pink, yellow. And then you got some little cute decorations over here. This one's 40% off. It says rare for 33. Oh, those are cute. Here, two, four dollars. Wow. Oh, dollar tree. Neat. Oh, I like that, that metal little tin platter. Oh, I see a little lamb plant back here. He's six. Oh, different. You should see white lambs. Really a green one with the black lamb pulling it. So that was Weaver's Treasures in Hagerstown, Maryland. So we had went to Hancock Antique and then we went to lunch in Hagerstown because they have a Fridays, but they're very hard to find anymore. And then I was like, you know, how you put maps and, um, anyways, we ended up at Weaver's. So let me show you what I got. I did get the planter. I just had the receipt. I paid uh, $6 for it and 36 cents in tax. Now there is a little, uh, scratch damage crazing on it, but I rarely ever see the black lamb. They may be prolific out there. However, I only ever see like the white or the bunny pulling the cart. But you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, uh, let's make it a Halloween assemblage. I think that would be cool with the, the muted greens and the red burgundy and then the little black lamb. So like a bottle brush tree and some mercury ornaments, etc. would make something really cute. So with that in mind, I was thinking, let's take a trip to the attic. I have some bottle brush trees up there so we can find and yeah let's go on a field trip there's my box storage it's like a room above the back door and then here's my laundry room slash care box care box all right
There's Bella. There's Tims. Okay, I think you can see me. There's my planter. And I'm going to take off. I have my readers on. Anyways, I have a box of bottle brush trees somewhere right here. Oh, I got these at Dollar Tree online. You have to buy a whole case though. Uh, how they come packaged. So I have all the colors. I have black and white. White, orange, and black. And then the candy corn colors, white, orange, and yellow. So let's go ahead and try a black and white one in there. So something like that. I like. And I got a Bella. Or that. Whoa. kind of like that too what do you think Bella what you think let's look at that but see there's reds not oranges that's why I'm picking stick to the black and white so what I think I'm gonna do is make this on my cat and Paul's channel that's my crafty channel and go ahead and doing a video from the assemblage so I'll put this downstairs I don't know when I'll post it but I, it's a project. I need to work on that channel anyways. Um, I'm still thinking I'm going to go. Well, let's try. We didn't do the candy corn. Definitely not. I'm really liking the black and, and white. Uh, or should, I should say black and natural. Yeah, that looks good with the face. While we're up here in the attic, I'll show you my little Christmas corner. Some of it's mine, some of it's for crafting. I'm going to try my hand at wreaths. If you watched that video of my 1806 Uniques and Antiques, they had a wreath there. They had a couple wreaths there. I would love to try my hand at making, you know, um, with the ornaments and the uh, wreath. So, what I'm going to look for now is, I have some mini balls, but I think I have some downstairs too. My mercury beads are downstairs. Uh, just doing a quick glance. My Easter. I have a lot of shiny brights, newer from like home goods. Oh, that's what I wanted to pull out. Okay, they're down here somewhere. I have this garland that has oranges and silver, but I know I have more down at the bottom. See, that's what she does all day. She lies up here and basks in the sunlight from the skylight. I do miss the skylight over my head. We had that taken out last year when we had the roof put on. But I grabbed some newer ornaments. These are new. Some Halloween. I saw the um, black stripe, which made me kind of think, okay, maybe. So I'll just take these all down to my craft desk. Uh, I don't think those are really going to match. I was thinking with the red, but they might. The lighting up here is terrible. And then uh, kind of like uh, that muted green. So that might go well. I gotta be careful. I don't want it to look like Christmas when I'm done. And then I do have this glass garden, um, which I would just snip and then take out what I need. But I think I have mercury beads already and I might not have to cut that. So thanks for going on a field trip with me to the attic. So this is what I got at Weaver's Treasures. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon.